Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be setting up your iPhone 12. Now this is a brand new phone, I just want to mention I'm showing you all these iPhones because it's the exact same setup for any one of these. So this is for you, those of you who are brand new into Apple. I do have another video which shows you how to transfer information from your old iPhone to your new one. However, again, the setup is pretty much the same. Anyways, this one right here is the 12, this one's 12 Pro Max, this one's the Mini. We're going to start off with the 12. So to put in our SIM card on our iPhone 12, as well as any other iPhone for that matter, 12 Pro Max, 12 Mini, it's always on the side. If you're looking at it this way, it would be on your left hand side if you're looking at your screen. And then on the side, you guys are going to see this. Now you guys did get this in your box. So this will be in your box. And what we need to do is take out this SIM card tray. There we go. It's not a SIM card tray. This is to put in this little hole so our SIM card tray comes out. So on the side of our phone, we're going to see this. And all we guys have to do is just put in this pin right here and press pretty hard on it. There we go. And so it pops out. It's just going to pop out once you press hard on it. And then your SIM tray will just come out like so. Once we have our SIM tray out, let's take a look at your SIM card. Here's a SIM card. So most SIM cards come like this and you guys have to take out the smallest one. It's nano. So you guys want the smallest size, just take it out from there and this is it. This will go in the tray and the way that it's going to go in the tray is like so. So just turn your tray around and you're going to see the shape matches. From there, once it's like this, just put it in your iPhone. So here's my phone. I'm going to turn my iPhone around just to make this easier on me. And I'm just going to insert it like so. Really want you guys to see how I'm inserting this. And there we go. That's the right way to putting a SIM card on your iPhone. Again, doesn't matter which iPhone it is. It could be an iPhone 11, an iPhone 10, same deal. At this point, we are ready to set up our new phone on the side. This will be the right side. If you're looking at your screen, you're going to see this power button. Just press on it. That's also going to be for Siri, by the way. Although Siri works without pressing anything with newer iPhones such as this one right here. What we should see is an Apple logo. We're just going to wait for it. And once it loads, we should see this. Just swipe up from the bottom up. You're going to see languages. Just pick whichever you like. We're going to pick English in this case. We're going to scroll down and see which region we like. Or we can always pick the very first one, but we're just going to look at others and you can choose whichever you like. By the way, the setup that I'm doing, we can always change later on in settings. So don't worry about it going to the United States for now. And this part's pretty interesting because if you have an iPad, for example, if you guys had an iPhone from before, we can do a quick start. We just put the iPhone beside the other and it kind of detects each other. I can tell you that this quick start is not perfect and it's not that much quicker. It's maybe half a second quicker. <laughs> so it's not a huge deal if you don't want to do that. So we're not going to do that. We're going to set this up manually, assuming you don't have another Apple device. From here, we're going to go ahead and choose our Wi-Fi network. Once you put in the password, just click on join. We're going to wait for it. At this point, it's going to activate our phone. Warranty of your phone didn't start the day you activated the phone. Actually, it usually starts when you bought it from the store. Unless you get it shipped from Apple, then it's a little bit different story there. Anyways, right now we're going to see this. We're just going to continue on and face ID. Face ID is good to set up. So we're going to do that setup just to show you how it is, but it's basically just moving your head side to side up and down in a circular motion, which I'm going to show you in a second. So we're going to continue on. And right now it gives us a quick tutorial of how it's supposed to be. So that's how you're supposed to move your face. And that way it gets this 3d image of you so it can scan you very well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Once we're done with the face ID, just click on continue on. It's going to scan again. Just move your head around. It's kind of hard for me to do this because I have my camera in the way. <laughs> but anyways, let's just continue on. 
create a passcode. So there's various options for a passcode, so you don't have to do this. We can go into passcode options. We can even go into custom. We can do four digit. We can do whatever we want. I'm gonna put cancel on there. We're just gonna stay with this. I'm gonna put the most basic thing ever. You guys should not use this, because this is way too easy for anybody to know. So use something that's private to you. From here, this is the best part about the whole setup. If you had an iPhone from before, this is the time to transfer everything. So that means just make sure everything is backed up on your old iPhone on iCloud. And then you can select the very first option to restore from your iCloud backup. If you didn't do that, you maybe didn't have space on your iCloud, you can always make a backup on your old phone on your computer and then just transfer everything over using Finder, for example, on Mac or iTunes on PC. And there's a couple of other options as well. If you're brand new into Apple, this is useless to you. You're gonna pick, don't transfer anything. At this point, you do need an Apple ID. That's because to download any apps or anything like that, you will re be required that Apple ID. So if you're brand new to Apple, you're gonna select this option down here below. And then from here, our second option is gonna say, create a free Apple ID. So you're gonna select that and you're gonna go on filling everything up. I do have a separate tutorial teaching you how to create an Apple ID that's already uploaded on my channel. For now, we're just gonna go back, back again. And if you do have an Apple ID already, just put in your Apple ID, which is your email plus your password, and we're set to go. For this particular time, just to make things faster, we're gonna go here and we're gonna set this up later in settings don't use, we're gonna agree to this, and then express settings. So most likely you would want that. Right now, you do wanna keep your iPhone up to date, so I suggest going in like that, and then just go into continue, iMessage, FaceTime, everybody uses that, you will wanna use that. Siri, Siri is awesome, because you don't have to always press this to use Siri. You can just leave your phone on the table or whatever, and say, hey Siri, and your iPhone will respond to you. So right now we're gonna set that up, press on continue. Hey Siri, hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. There we go. Just make sure if you do have other Apple devices, keep them away, keep them in another room because this will get annoying. Go ahead, continue on. And this will let you know exactly that. You can access Hey Siri like that. Continue. For privacy reasons, I would select do not share your audio. However, I always share my stuff with developers just to help everything out. So I'm gonna share. And screen time. Screen time is something that I would do if you guys have kids. So if this is a phone for your kids, Screen time is awesome because you can put a lot of restrictions. You can put up so they can't download certain apps or maybe they can't download any apps without your permission. Same thing with payment and all that stuff. It's great. However, screen time for adults, it's not the greatest thing. Unless you do want to know how much time you spend on your phone, then this is good. Other than that, just set it up later in settings, which is exactly what I'm going to do because I don't really care about that. And then from here, just choose share with developers, most likely you wanna do that. You can always opt out from here. This is just a quick tutorial, so I'm gonna show you what happens. See that? That's all, it just shows you what this is and what this means. Continue on. From here we have dark mode and light mode. Dark mode is good for indoor use. Um, outdoor, it's pretty good too. It's just not as great as light mode. Light mode is a little bit better if for outdoor use, I would say. However, we can always change this, by the way, later on in settings if you change your mind. So maybe you pick dark mode, you hate it, you can always go back to light mode very easily. I already have a YouTube video right here on my channel. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna leave it as light mode, just records better. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on. From here, we can choose standard or zoomed in. So everything will be bigger on our phone if we click on zoom in. I think everything's perfect, so I'm gonna click on continue on and swipe up. At this point in time, we are done with the setup. That's it for this phone. You guys are ready to go. Just wanna mention that if you scroll this way, you're gonna see widgets. You will see this message. 
scroll out of there. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. I'm gonna see this, same thing. And then these are all the apps that are in there and they're just organized into folders. That's all that it means. They're not additional apps. It's just an organization thing that Apple made with iOS 14. These right here are the basic apps, default apps. So if you don't import any of your own apps, this is what you guys get. And that's it. There's no more apps. Let me just go into this folder. Those are apps as well that we get. And this would be for any iPhone out there actually. It doesn't matter which phone you guys have, you will have the same default apps. Anything else that you would like, download it from the App Store. And you will re be required an Apple ID to download anything from the App Store. So make sure to create that Apple ID and check out my video of how to create one in detail. But for now, we are all done with this setup. This phone is ready to be used and have fun with it. There's a lot you can do, a lot of options, a lot of apps. If you guys have any questions, comments, or this is your first time having an iPhone, you wanna check out tricks and tips, make sure to check out my iPhone manual on my YouTube channel. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.